Hola. Hola, senoritas y senores. And welcome back to some more Blood and Cadiz. Spanish game 2. Oh shit. I see everyone left. Oh yeah. No. More. <laughs> oh. You speak again, Pasta? Okay, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I, I thought I thought Hector wasn't lighting up. Okay. Oh, okay. And we had that uh, we had this issue in session one where, for some reason, your animated avatar was misaligned. Oof. Yeah. Well, I I uh, was just muted so I wouldn't cough. Oh yeah, I no, that's fine. Cough on the audience. Oh, that's fine. I was trying to. Oh, you don't want to spread the orc flu. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So, is everyone here? Etsy? We yep. exist. Yep. You there, Ben? I, I, am. <laughs> I am a physical entity. Ah, Skog yes. is here. Ben has oh. died. Rip. Well, <laughs> someone He's likes no to do a man. quick recap while ben, ben comes back. <laughs> Extreme um, violence happened. It was fun. Well, we had assassination. We had kill team. Uh, Seal Kill Team of Spain uh, out well, not really every now and then killing and every now and then talking and then we have had a legal drama Let's see uh, Kids we had devils a... what was that? no, we had a Judge Judy episode then I would say you know. <laughs> All right. yeah, kinda we true. also had the, the friggin' guy who got sued, just refusing to take it, and just attacking. What a cunt. It was a bold move, but it did not pay off. <laughs> yep. It's usually never a bold move to just kill the guy in the courtroom. It's like, <laughs> mm. it's, it's not gonna change much. All right, so <coughs> have you returned, Ben, or are you muted? <coughs> Oof. Oof. Ben has departed this realm. <laughs> he is never longer among us. Oh well. Um, so I believe last week we finished off, but Hector had someone hide in his bedroom. <laughs> See, he met somebody in his chambers. He did not expect it to find. Yeah, he did. Is it Gandalf the White? Oh dear. Oh, uh, yeah, there was a uh, cat boy in his room and he, uh. Mm. Gandalf the Black. Testing. Hello? I'm uh, I'm I'm trying to do a thing. Um, so, you entered your uh, chambers, Pasta, to find this man in your bedroom. Oh, there is not showing the map, but I know who. We, uh, there we go. See, yeah, Senora Bruno. Senor Herrera. Bruno Herrero was in your room, and he is going to. Uh, Hand you a letter. Be like, oh. oh no, we have intercepted this report. Is it from El Spy? It is from the Spy, but I'll show you that in a moment. You know what? I'll, I'll show you that now to give Ben some more time to return. All right. Here. Oh, you're back. Well, I've already done this. I'll come back to you in a moment, then, Ben. All right. He hands you this letter, Pasta. Traitor! You would call me Traitor. Yeah. Would someone like to read it? Additional enemy forces have gathered at Cadiz. Under traitor Hector Hercule Santos, now dictator of Spain. There are approximately two battles in number. In his company are the monocoddled Baron Grobnov's son, El Capitan. 
Zhe, is it Zhao? Zhao. Zhao, Gordo. Yeah. Digama, Dagama. Remy, the Razor, Sartori. A wanted in uh, Dragon Bridge. Former acolyte of the Mumfoid Hand. Frances Francesca Brandivine. The Tribadiz. And Onoma Vinstrider, the Exile. The forces under the command of Centurion Glorical, formerly of the Optio Centauri, of the Legio Condottery, Third Auxiliary co co Cohort. Battles include 30 Hobgoblins, 20 Goblins, 2 Feral Orcs, 50 Mercenaries of various orders, 50 of the City Watch of Cadiz, and 4 Privateering Vassals, full plus crew. Despite having a force of 200 Warriors, the loud only has the has provisions for fifty. <laughs> Fair. Strangely, a talking ferret has the mixed up Sanchez's ear. <laughs> By which he refers to as a spot. <laughs> this sure as to arrange him a tiny axe for his execution. Jesus. And at the end, <laughs> I'm glad the disguise works. <laughs> Uh, Didn't yeah. even confuse the spy. <laughs> <laughs> March towards the end, he has R L I fifteen E C line line L six. Glorious holdness and the empire. Damn anthropos empire. Shadow paw. That's the sh signature. Yep. Shadow paw. Yep. He has mm. apprehended a letter from a spy. There appears to be a spy in your camp. Because he knew everything about you. You also knows a lot about everything. my companions. Well, he maybe oh. knows about my art. He discovered hmm? I was actually a ferret the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fantastic. What's that noise I hear in the distance? Oh. Do you hear it? Is it no? Is that birds? I think I hear some exposition. <laughs> oh dear! You dare cast your exposition spell on me? Oh shit! I think I hear some exposition oh, no. in the distance on the wind. It's him! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! We we journey back. In time, <laughs> as uh, Senor Bruno Her Her Borde Herrero is going to tell you his backstory past time <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> you think he he, he's an uh, ancient enemy of Spain? Oh shit. I knew he always looked like an anime protagonist. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> On the fateful day, up there. <laughs> <laughs> he's up there, like <laughs> taking the tower. On the fateful day, the southern wall of Cadiz, or not Cadiz, um, Clinton was taken by His Holiness the God Emperor, where he held off between two armies on each side for no reason, or at least from what anyone could see, for no reason, just because he could. Too specific. Uh, I guess I was gonna say men at arms, but I think you're. They they were sergeants, I believe. In the sergeant uh, and personal, personal yeah. uh, guard. There was uh, two sergeants mm -hmm. in the retinue of uh, the rampant rams. Ho -ho. Which uh, Bruno will ask you uh, about. As you would be familiar with, um, Hector, as they were based out of Pamplona, the garrison of Pamplona. Yeah, they were. Oh. However, we are now back in time, about 20 years. No, it's not 20, it's what, like 10, 15 years? I can't remember, it's 1492. It's a long ass time ago. Yeah. And, uh,. Shout! Various shouts and orders are strung, thrown about the place. C 
Captain Lissard shouts at you, Mr. Tiger, mm -hmm. to uh, to take uh, Johnson and uh, Johnson Senior as well, because like majority of the people in the Rampant Rams are also named Johnson. <laughs> That's a common name. No, they were all fa they were all family members. <laughs> The Johnson family. The John, right take the Johnsons and uh, hold that street Johnsons. over there. <laughs> and after warriors. holding off the rear defense of His Holiness's force, as he stands atop the walls, blazing like a bright sun, blinding the fuck out of everyone. Looks like a giant dick. Some <laughs> orcs come around down the street and engage you. The big fierce hand to hand combat. Johnson, you swing your spade, your spotting, your mighty spotting around and bonk people. <laughs> How however, eventually the melee becomes too so intense that you end up accidentally letting go of it. No. And engage in a fierce hand to hand struggle with an orc who manages to bite half your face off. <laughs> <laughs> Before you manage to reach your spade and you fucking bonk him, get him with your spade. Johnson, injured and being overrun, you meet up with Tigard again in the melee and you hear in the distance the order from Lissard to fall back and regroup at the next street back. And you find yourself. Uh, where is it? Here. Here we go. You find yourself here. At a building. Where a not so well armored tabaxi looking motherfucker is about to go for you, Tiger. How would you like to respond? Uh, what's he armed with? He's a little uh, crossbow, but he's gonna go at you with his claws. Oh, because uh, he's like right in front of you. Abilities. To... <laughs> yeah. That's how it looks. Yeah. So I'm not even sure I have the same abilities. Yeah, no, me... I'm level one now. Oh fuck. Yeah, you're level <laughs> one. Uh oh, I do have interception still though. Yeah. Okay, do I yeah. go first? Yeah, you can make a strike on him. All right, I'll make a yeah. pull at. Yeah. Uh. Right on him. Yeah. Aww. You need to get Johnson to safety so you can patch him up. Yep. Yeah. Do I hit or miss? Uh, that's a hit. All damage. Is it? Jesus. Yeah. All right. He's not wearing any armor. Yeah. Bro, I do. Oh, he's right just damage. fucking KO'd instantly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bro. Oh, he's down. Go on, pal. Let's go. Yeah. yeah in the house. Are you gonna kick in the door? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna kick in the door. <laughs> as soon oh, as I you relax, I just smash the As door. soon as you enter into the house, there's a, a wham and goes for you with a butcher's knife. Oh. Yeah. Typical whammon. Always with the knives. Okay. Uh, do I attack first or Yeah. Well you or Ben, whichever. Okay. Uh, She's going for you. His flap onto yeah. the side of his head. Still. You're like I'll make bleeding an arm strike. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <Right>. That's it. <laughs> Four damage. To her, oh my god. Oh shit. I think you just fucking. I like just smack her with the, the flap. Yeah, yeah. She like falls over and out. knocks her head on the table and falls dead on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Drag your boy in. Yeah. Now that's what I call a bro mom. Yeah. Just kind of, I guess, sitting down there. You start bandaging up Johnson and whatnot. And... Do it there so I have, so I can see the door. Yeah. Medicaid. Where's my medicine? Yeah, you can make a medicine check. Yeah. Johnson. I'm gonna live with this one. That's can great. you make Actually. a perception test as you're uh, trying getting patched up? No. <laughs> Taggart's oh busy. God, I'm too intense. <laughs> I think I know where this That's is going. That's a spot, Joe. 
<laughs> I'm using the Dano. I'm using the Dano sheet. Yeah. I just had the name wrong on the on the roller. Yeah. We are filling I can't in. Can't see shit. A uh, <laughs> plot hole. I'll I'll try and have yeah. another look around. Though, yeah, you have a you can have a, another look around after you yeah, uh, finish pat attempting to patch him up. My sixth sense tells yeah. these things up. Yeah, there yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah, you you hear a little a noise in the corner behind you. I'll I'll whip around and yeah, you whip around and you notice off. in the shadow over there, hiding, is a uh, there's a little boy. Mama, I need to use the Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I like how it's just him. <laughs> Small. Yeah, the scale dude. <laughs> Does he have any um, um, He's a little knife, but he's not posing any threat. He's trying to hide. Okay. But he's really poorly hidden. He's like, you know. I'll just um put my finger yeah. up to my mouth, like, shh. <laughs> yeah. Like, just stay there, boy. Yeah. You hear the horn to assemble. Alright. We'll pick him up. Alright, let's go up. Oh, God. Go now. Thanks, Tag. <laughs> Get me out of here, man. Get me out of here. It's like Vietnam in the city. <laughs> Basically, yeah. We're, we're just fleeing Saigon. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Mad is that woman dead, by the way, or is she just like? Yeah, she like... died. Oh wow. Yeah, you, <laughs> ki hell. you kill the kid's parents. I smacked her that hard. She just broke. Commoners yeah. have three HP on average, right? So. Yeah, uh, four. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah. this plot is. Oh damn. The cruelty of the northerners knows no bounds. Yep. <laughs> And that is how I ended up being adopted by the, uh, by, oh shit, what's his name? Uh... <laughs> oh my Man. god. Oh, Ooh, sorry. There we go. Hmm? Alright. Oh my, my phone, no, everything is going wrong right now, my phone is going off. <laughs> <laughs> and the no. thing's not loading. This, that's how I ended up being adopted by Guanito Herrero, the Prime Minister of Spain. Herrero Roshi. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, Senor, with any hope, maybe you'll have your vengeance yet. I must have vengeance on the Empire. They, Their cruelty knows no bounds. Indeed. So, Stu, well, remember way back when you were playing Taggart, I said at some point you'll have a surprise session as Taggart in, in the past? There you go. <laughs> it all comes together, man. Yeah. My friend, uh, Senor Herrero, quick question. Mm hmm. The markings towards the end of the message, the uh, RL and EC, do they tell you anything? Is oh, it... that's a good question to ask him, actually. Hang on. Is that some manner of code? Hang on, I need to make a roll for him. What shall I... I'll do insight. Oh, that's good. Yes, senor. It appears to be uh, some sort of code, or uh, okay. perhaps coordinates. Coordinates? Perhaps both. A I code don't... with coordinates, perhaps? And if they were to say be coordinates, I would reckon maybe the... The, the the numbers, do they say anything to you? Do they tell you anything? Make an investigation check pass and see if you can find a map in your desk over here. Good point. Yeah. If um, you can find a map, you might be able to use the coordinates. 
Oof. <clears throat> well, shit. You go looking for the the map in your underwear drawer. <laughs> I I was sure I had something here. Never mind. Oh no, that's just my. Uh... Yeah, he then like points. <laughs> he just like hands you a map <laughs> from your ah, own thank desk. You. <laughs> thank you, Signor. Sometimes Wait, I'm beginning to suspect he might the spy might be right about you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a day of celebration. I was thinking of my uh, flag of Spain underwear, not my map of Spain. He's <laughs> just like, how would that help? <laughs> All right. Good question. He then uh, points to your map. Hey, I'll mark it on your map. Uh, let's see. One of the coordinates appears to be your encampment. Oh no. I'll mark it on your pit boy. I'm fine. Where could that be? You will put uh, I5. You point out I5 is there. Along the coast. L6 is here. I see. Both as to, along the coast. As to what the rest of the means, you do not know. I'm just going to drop a uh... circle. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. You see enemy camp. I take it it is an enemy camp. It's abbreviation, no? It could be, senor. RL. Hmm. Have you, Have you encountered this term before? RL. Well, it's my initials. <laughs> Do doxing himself. <laughs> Senor Herrero, would, would RL have any significance to you? Uh, at least as a, say, an abbreviation. I'm going to check his languages. One second. If he doesn't speak uh, uh, Imperial, then he won't know that. He does not speak Imperial. Oof. He only speaks... What's the point of being a spy if yeah. you don't speak the enemy's language? <laughs> you are a terrible spy. <laughs> you were in the other room. <laughs> I know. I'm not in character. I'm just talking in a funny yeah. voice. Hang on. You know what? I gotta make a just a general intelligence test. Or is I not a little I oh, See if he uh, speaks. Uh, no, he does not speak. Uh, okay. He has some some uh, imperial, but not a lot. Not enough well, to know know the meaning of that word. Do you have that... imperial? No. Do you have Spanish and common? I have uh, common and orc. Okay, so you just have Spanish and orc. Okay. See. Si. Yeah. Well, however, does he get the sense that if he knows, it, it might be something imperial? You, in you know what? Imperial time? Make a insight test with advantage, because you might know so. someone who might know that. I know. You do know someone who knows that. You're like, oh shit, I know someone. I do. They even mention him. However, we are certain this is Imperial Tang, correct? Um, Senor Herrera will say to you that um, the halfling you have in your uh, retinue, uh, Francesca Brandywine, I believe, she, uh, ah. she is Imperial. She might be able to... Uh, interpret the codes as she was uh, privy to some of their training. Wait, spy training? No, military training. Thankfully. I see. Well, in that case, I thank you for your assistance and I uh, shall focus on the spy. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, I hope you will give me my give me your blessing in our <laughs> siege upon uh, uh, Navarre. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you have given night. me a great thing here. I think it will help us gain a lead. Have a good night, Senor, and uh, good luck in finding the spy. As to you, Signor. Yeah, he goes away. <laughs>
I wish you luck in your head. I must find this tag <laughs> and avenge my family. <laughs> it's still night, right? Yeah, it's night time. Okay, shit. Yeah. I'll have to see about it in the morning. Yeah. Morning, yes. And dawn comes by. <laughs> okay. You fetch me Remy and fetch me a uh, Frankie. Hang on, where's your guy with the cupcakes? There he is. See, see. <laughs> Hold on, man. Wait, right, give me one of those cupcakes. <laughs> They'll be on the breakfast table, senor. We don't want to okay, bring rats okay. into your quarters. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I'll take one out here. Give a throne right. as well, pasta. <laughs> I keep forgetting the throne. Yeah. Hello, Frankie. Oh, hello. Well, he brings the map with him from the bedroom. Yeah. He's kind of been looking at it uneasily mm -hmm. the whole night. While he's been in and out of sleep. Yeah. Just slaps it down on the table. Yep. Okay. Frankie, since you're here, um, Manuel, fetch me Remy as well, would you? Yep. Manuel goes off to find uh, Remy and. Uh, uh, was it Frania? Frania? Fre Frania. He's, he's, Manuel is going to fetch Skog and uh, Stu. Fetch her? Yeah. Whoa. So, <laughs> sirs, your uh, master <laughs> requires your uh, attention. Alright, pal. We're on wait. <laughs> Completely I have a... misgenders Frina. <laughs> in, her, in her helmet. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I have yeah. uh, gained hold of a enemy correspondence. He he takes up the letter and navigates just to the last part. Mm -hmm. And um, an enemy correspondence uh, regarding our army size and seemingly holding coordinates. One of them is us. Another is. I five on the uh, Spain map of Spain, along the coast just outside of Cadiz. However, something I'm struggling with is they are also marked with R L and E C. Mm -hmm. How strange, Rankin says. Um, my the emissary who brought me this message has explained to me that it's likely the language of the Anthropos Empire, so... Potentially something utilized by the army of that place. Uh, Frankie, Remy, would you assist me? Would you be able to enlighten me on this? Yeah, I can take a look, sure, boss. Excellent. He's going to just mm -hmm. take a... He's going to find another piece of paper and write on it the RL I-15 EC mm -hmm. L6 bit. Are you showing And then everyone... pocket the letter. Are you showing <laughs> everyone present the, the letter? No, he's not showing the letter at all. He's mm -hmm. just writing down. Oh, you're just showing the... The, that, that one part of the letter. Okay. He's going to actually make sure that he doesn't show the letter. He's going to write it on another note. Mm -hmm. Oh, are oh, you just showing them the uh, the code? Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. He's taking great lengths to write it on a different note and then pop the letter mm -hmm. quickly. Sure. All right. Remy. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, you want to have a look test at the... that thing, or do I just... Read um, it? maybe do an insight test with disadvantage, as you would you'd be from the criminal underworld rather than uh, military. Oh, right, shit. Through your, your criminal underworld um, connections, you uh, 
you have seen this kind of uh, codes before. Mm. They appear to be uh, uh, map coordinates and abbreviations of uh, certain things in relation to the map. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like some kind of coordinate boss, but can't really pick out anything specific. Uh, maybe uh, Miss Frankie here will have a look. Maybe I'll do some of it. Thank you for your efforts. Yeah. Do a roll for Frankie. Uh, Frankie is also going to do. What was it I said? Investigation or insight? It was insight, mm, wasn't it? Do insight. Yeah. yeah, Frankie's going to do an insight. Oh, Frankie will uh, say, uh, hmm, this is uh, an old system. The Empire no longer uses this. However, uh, EC is enemy encampment. And, I see. Uh, or the enemy camp. And uh, what was the other one? It was Aurel. Uh, RL, see. Yes. Uh, RL appears to be recommended landing. Uh, that would make sense. <laughs> I see. They are sending an army. Well, they may be sending mercenaries. Hmm. At least they're sending... I mean, I don't you think... wouldn't want to send a full army, you know, you might invoke the wrath of the country, whereas if you send mercenaries, then it could be anybody. True. But For then example, again... those mercenaries you were sending at Cadiz. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly judging tone. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> well, at least we know they're not sending their best. True. Well, in any case, I think we have paid off most of the local mercenaries. The uh, matter is we need to fortify Cadiz, if this is true. I, I have a brief in-setting, but not in-character question. Mm -hmm. Do rocks exist in this setting, or other equally large birds? Uh, yeah, but not in this in the area. Okay, sense. so it'd be very unusual to have, say, rock-based, um, like, paratroopers. <laughs> oh, they might... There might be paratroopers someday, but I don't think there's any yet. When you, when you in, in, entrust the, uh, the... Well, you enlist the power of a dragon to drop your troops over the enemy target. Well, if only, you, oh, actually, yeah. if only you knew a dragon. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. They do know did they do know a dragon? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think we're trained in parachute dropping from He's a my dragon. Dad. <laughs> but also the the fact is they are planning the landing. This is the enemy. Yes, then it will be the perfect opportunity to surprise them. <laughs> By landing on top of them. Yes, well they drop from the sea, we shall drop from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll never see it coming. Oh god. I start regretting sending the primitives away, actually. <laughs> Not sure we could afford to pay them, honestly, considering the economy in <laughs> goodness. Oh, oh I personally pay hey, them Remy? for a year. Hey, Remy. <laughs> mm. how, how many of your, your like, your, well... Have you smuggled stuff again, man? You got your, uh, you got your fish boys or something? Ah, uh, yeah, I got some contacts that can smuggle things out by sea. Well, well, you need some. They might, they might be pretty good at drilling holes in the bottom of ships or something. <laughs> ah, for sure. Hmm. Yeah. You could use good that. Maybe. Just saying, if we make their boats look like Swiss cheese a mile offshore, most of them will drown. They'll be great. Well, when I get back to the town, I'll um. Put the word out and see if they can spare a few people that would be interested in helping. Yeah, that out. sounds good. I also got some friends I could talk to. We could see if we can get the, you know, head them off at the tide or whatever the mm. water words are. <clears throat> also, if you did start to sink their boat, they'd have to get rid of all their heavy equipment. So, you know, they'd be not fighting armored. This guy, he gets it. 
I mean, leave it up to a dwarf to know all the important stuff too, man. I Good. mean, if I was on a boat and it was sinking, then as nice as it is, my brigandine would be going over the side. <laughs> uh, quick question, just double checking. I closed the letter, but did it say the shadow paw or black paw? It said oh, shadow paw. Shadow paw. Okay. Yeah. Then I have it right. Sorry. I. Are we being think... blackmailed by furries? <laughs> <laughs> It is Hurry. the edgiest cunt who is spying on you. I'm not hearing a no. By the way... I'm not being blackmailed, at least. I I've been showing this while you were talking. <laughs> Hector's uh, big plan for the, the, the privateers. <laughs> if they die, we yeah. don't need to pay them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was my plan. Hmm. Uh, well, I suppose... Yes, boarding them covertly and sinking them is probably the best bet. Would anybody want to arrange this? Uh, I don't really have any contacts, I'm afraid. Hey, I Remy see. and I could take care of this one real good. Mm -hmm. I see. Excelente. In that case, I shall take it upon myself to seek out... Uh, a gentleman in the underworld, known as the Shadow Ball. <laughs> I, d I really don't think Hispacho would know anything about this individual, given my, like, type of stuff, but would I know anything about this guy? Is Make an investigation if, if check they're not disadvantage. From... Yeah, because if they're not from yeah. here, there's a good chance that he won't know. Because you, you can go into the city and, like, ask around. Yeah. Actually, Remy, would yeah, you well... be familiar with uh, the Shadow Po? Yeah, let's have a look. Um, uh, investigation, you said? Investigation with um, disadvantage. disadvantage. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm the, sorry. <laughs> put it this way. The name appears to be so edgy, only a spy could use it, so it <laughs> might be someone from the Special Operations Unit. Only specialists. Yeah. No, no self-respecting criminal would call themselves that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whoever this guy is, he's probably someone who works professionally, and he's like way up his own ass or something. I don't think he's like a criminal man. We we have cool names. We don't have gay names like this one. <laughs> oh, sounds after it to me. P Peril yeah, kind of like... says that name sounds kind of cool. Sounds kind of jealous. Yeah, like uh... I, I had cool names like the Red Cat and like the Scale Boy and things like that, but not like, you know, Dig the Scarlet Murder Kill. You know, that's, no one does that. That's stupid. Well, I think it what? sounds pretty cool. Wasn't there <laughs> like a on the world? Who like said that? Yes. <laughs> Paro says that. Paro, just because you're cute, I forgive you, but you gotta get some experience in these matters, man. I get it, but no. <laughs> okay, ferret, man. That's right. I am a, a little ferret. I'm so cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pal, if you see some uh, guy coming up to you and he calls himself the Herald of, you know, whatever. He's probably compensating, so he ain't all that. <laughs> oh, fair. I still think yeah. it was pretty cool. Okay. Wait, well, so we, we all have saying. phases, mate. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. Arrow's <laughs> got like a secret, like dark, edgy boy face outside of his cute demeanor. <laughs> As Pacho, like, with your really passive like perception of 18, fan art, guys. <laughs> with your passive perception of 18, you notice he's sweating. <laughs> hmm. Would I notice anything if I try to concentrate on it? Make a perception test to see if you can see anything. Wait a second, he's not a dog. Dogs can't sweat. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not saying that. No, nope, you don't know anything, Hector. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, no, Paro, you're pretty cool, man. Still a bit don't, sus. don't worry about it. It's all good. Hmm. Um, Ciao. Would you come with me for a moment? Yeah, sure. Where are we going? Over here, outside. Here. Yep. 
keep an eye on the dog. Oh, why? Just make sure he doesn't act out of line in terms of... Well, watch his correspondence, an email he sends, and make sure he doesn't just go around walking anywhere. Obnoxiously whispering in your ear. Look him hey, down. Man. Hey, man. Like, a name that shitty, nobody would defend that unless they were, like, really insecure about that being their own name. It might be the dog boy. I don't know. <laughs> He's also sweating, and dogs can't sweat, man. So, like, something's fishy <laughs> going on there. That is true. <laughs> Are you saying he's shush, 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 shush. Are you saying he's Prince Andrew in disguise? <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, like, keep uh, don't don't act suspicious or anything. You know, be cool, but you know, just keep an eye on it. It's okay. Gordo will uh, say to you, uh, Hector, that uh, he yeah he can keep an eye on him, but uh, be aware that um, he was supposed to. You had asked him to go and get some more food for your men. I'm aware. Do you still want him to do that? Or... Um, I thought I put the dog on that duty. Yeah, but you want us to her, not right? him go anywhere, but also let him go get food? Um, don't let him go anywhere except this room in the castle. But actually, send some of your men with him as he goes in. Say it's for protection. So he can leave the castle? Yes, but he needs to be under your watch. Oh, time. okay, without our watch. Okay, got it. He cannot be outside the castle without your watch fly. Mm -hmm. Good that you reminded me, or else I might have uh, messed up there. On the way, you might be, you know, <laughs> getting flayed alive and hung yes. from the gatehouse. Uh, he is allowed to um, depart the castle, but make sure he is in completely watched. All right. And at least for the... Uh, Next week, don't let him send any letters. I will keep a personal eye on him myself. So it's don't good. install a flap, gotcha. <laughs> Doggy door in Fort Collins. No flaps. <laughs> Round a, doorknobs only. There's a doggy door in the Fort Collins, so I spot you if you go in and out. I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> yeah, I like the redundancy. <laughs> Actually, correction, he's not allowed any correspondence outside from what he does in person with your man's supervision. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Hey, hey, Hector. See? Si? Hey, where do we keep the food supplies, man? Good question. Where is the food supplies? Are they over there? Uh, at, at that exact moment. Uh, Peril happens to walk outside, and you say, "You hear?" He overhears you say, "Where's the food supplies?" He said, "Over there, sir." Ah, oh, excellent. Cool, man. Thank you. Yeah. He goes and gets yeah, his car. Yeah, I just want to catalog things. Well, we weasels, we sure love to catalog things, man. It's okay. Uh, Peril, just a word of warning: we are in uh, currently a heightened, uh, heightened security. Uh, just so you're aware, there will be some guards joining you in your next uh, departure. Thank you, sir. I feel so much more safe. It is really dangerous on the roads. I know. It's very dangerous these times. I've heard the word of... There are some nobles in town trying to kill me. And potentially they might try to get to me by way of you. Oh, no. I know. He kind of pisses himself a little bit. <laughs> Don't be worried. We have the best security that money can buy. Oh no, sir, I need to go change my trousers. <laughs> this has heavy vibes of the... I don't, hey, mister, these woods are really scary. It's like, how do you think I feel? I've got to come back alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, does anybody want to come with me to seek out uh, the... Uh, Shadow power person. Well, I think I should probably come with you for protection. It sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't hey, Remy. Do I think there to do, so. <laughs> yeah. Hey Remy, we could we could go check out around town. I just wanna I just wanna put something out there real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah. Uh watch is gonna go over to Frankie. Mm hmm Hey Frankie, you know a lot about like medicine and stuff, man. I yeah. yeah. Hey. The, uh, the food stash is right outside the church for some reason. I don't know. It seems pretty dumb place to put it, but 
Hey, could you uh could you take a look at it and make sure it's all you know? He like taps it out of his nose. It's all okay for consumption, you know, man. Yeah, sure thing. Right, I think I you. think please, it's there. Just get on that right away. I think it's there because of you know storage shortages due to the amount of people here. And yeah, some of the small people could sleep on it like a bed or something, but we we don't want to leave that on the rain. <laughs> but hey, yeah, if you if you mind taking a look at that while we're gone, I would really appreciate it. Yeah. Man. Thank you. She goes sorting it out and all that. All right. Oh, actually, before I depart, gentlemen, would any of you be familiar with a person calling themselves the Shadow Po? Spacho looks out of the side of his eye at the dog. <laughs> they all kind of look together and kind of have, have a group group circle and whisper. And they all start whispering to each other and they just turn around. No, no idea. <laughs> You are not familiar with these underworld figures. Never heard of him. Are Sounds you like collaborating a gay name. with the mafia? Sounds like a really gay name. Who <laughs> <laughs> would call themselves something that dumb? Mm, fair. Is the dog sweating again? The dog is gone. He's gone to change his trousers. Alright. Well, gentlemen. Don't be withholding information. It might be um, fatal. And, <laughs> they all look at each other like, oh god, <laughs> we elected this guy dictator. All I'm saying is, if you assist an enemy of Spain, the true puppet of the Anthropos Empire, you are an enemy of Spain in my eyes. You're no better than the mayor. But, but you're the mayor, sir. <laughs> I mean the former mayor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> You're no better than yourself. What does that mean? He speaks in riddles. In any case, if somebody wants to confirm forward with some information, I'll be back this evening. Bye bye. For the town. That's it. Oh shit, that's good rolls. Star wave. So, hey, where are you going to Cadiz? Uh, yeah. yes, yeah. I believe so. Cool. Hello. Do, 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 do. There you go. Wait. Uh, let me just... uh, does my new avatar work now? Oh, hang on. Did you update it? Oh. I mean, the art's there. Oh, hang on. I need to manually do it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize I had forgotten to do that. Oh, yeah. See this little game. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I gotta wear my fedora in town. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you drop it down now, Stu. Uh, hmm. It's a bit delayed. There he is. A boy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, where is he? Where's the lobby? It's by the gatehouse. So. <coughs> oh dear. Stop, um, stop. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Are you stabbing people? No, um, it's 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 that goblin that I already killed yeah. before. Oh yeah, no, no, he's dead. He's, he's just still here. It's no, just it's like because it's, a, it's, back it's and just like it's that the old it's, it's the old map. Yeah. This is the daytime yeah. map. Yeah, it's the old. There's daytime a daytime map. and a nighttime map. I was just yeah. joking. I know he's not there. <laughs> oh no, Barry. <laughs> he's alive again! He's he's fine now. He's prison. Yeah. <laughs> I am going into town dressed as a ferret, by the way. Or weasel or whatever. Yeah. Right Understandable. Whatever your fetish is. I might need a disguise. Are, are you technically a furry? Those are fighting words, Scott. <laughs> I know you, you know those are fighting words. A ferret an awful lot. 
Yeah, he's a little he's a little lizard boy trying to not give himself away all the time because I'm like a renowned criminal in this town. <laughs> I, I, we, I, I got a, I borrowed a hollowed out weasel from an orc last season, and it's my primary. I, I don't want to question what that hollowed out weasel was used for. <laughs> oh, you'll find out. I need to find the alleyway. Shit. Which alleyway? Uh, any any alleyway with no people in it. Hola. Bye bye. What the hell? Gonna, he's gonna walk all the way over to the wall again. Roll twenty just died on me one second. No. No, <laughs> no senor. Shit, we're in the alleys of the city. Yeah. Uh, Hector does realize I should probably wear a disguise. Are you doing some Assassin's Creed or what? What's going on? Uh, he's just moved out to alleyway by the wall, and uh, he's gonna try to disguise himself with the disguise kit. Mm -hmm. I also have proficiency, so I will help him. You put on nice. like your fake glasses with the fake nose and a fake mustache. Well, we'll see if it's better than that, but maybe. Maybe. Put, and make then I use my green clay to like prosthetic it together to make it look natural and stuff. <laughs> make a charisma, or a you know a. A, a test to use the kit. Do you, uh, yes. Yeah. Do yeah you have if if I help, can he uh, have advantage? Uh, yeah, you can have advantage and use charisma. Oh, use charisma. How well do you do you uh wear your disguise? <laughs> ah, it's more or less the same. Um, I got a twenty with the advantage, thankfully. Is it a nat twenty? No. Oh, okay. Your disguise looks pretty good. It is literally a pair of fake glasses with a fake nose and a fake mustache. <laughs> and a well, sombrero. He you know, carries himself differently, walks. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't, don't look too proud when you walk this. Like, you yeah. Know. <laughs> you were with a sombrero as well. <laughs> You're not a boss when you disguise, you know. <laughs> what if I'm a criminal boss? Eh? Mm. Mm. I'm supposed to play the part of a criminal, eh, you know? Mm. Sector oh, Hanches. <laughs> Renowned <laughs> criminal boss of the Garduda. <laughs> hey, Sector's the name. They call me that because I rule all the sectors, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> Sector Hanches. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm ready to meet uh, the Shadow Bow. All right. Oh, so you're putting on a disguise to go fight, figure out who the Shadow Paul is. Yes, he's going to try to basically ask around, and uh, that might be a very direct approach. But uh, he's going to try to play the part of an informant. I'm gonna use the ninja mask. There you go. Nice. Yeah. All right. What do you want to do? Uh, well, depends. Uh, you ladies were heading to what were you had got lads heading to again? Well, we're gonna go check around the docks and the wharf, maybe to see if we can find some people who are really good at the water. So, you know, yes. we could get we could get the boats taken care of before they arrive. Once we figure out which ones mm -hmm. they are, maybe. Yeah, drown in the boats. Excellent. You know, I, I'll I'll just join you down there. He's probably down by the docks, if I reckon right. Gentlemen, La docks is next. Yeah. see. Oh, they so are. They become French when this. <laughs> Pardon. Pardon. I I will uh, be a sector hatches. Sector Hunches. He's just gonna head through this. Actually, he's gonna. Oh, oh shit. I don't yeah, know where you are, Pastor. Uh, 
<laughs> you've not moved for me, so I don't know where you've moved to. Uh, Faye, he he's, moved to the... He's over here. Oh, is he? Yeah, oh, I'm he's hanging... supposed to be by the square. Oh, that's what I moved him. Oh, by the town square? Uh, okay, shift, shit. Quick. Shift, oh, quick. you're down by the docks, okay. Yeah, we moved, like, directly left all the way across the map. Okay, like, just move me, uh... To the right above from me, I guess, by the, by the street. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, does the squeaky, has the squeaky clean been built yet, or is it still? Uh, it's uh, currently been set up. Oh, cool. Because <laughs> that would have been convenient to you know, yeah. meet people. Up. You can go down to the construction site and ask people. That is an option. Yeah, to be fair, I might run into some of my associates there, honestly. So. Yeah. Your <laughs> brothel and. Uh, I'm just imagining the Sopranos thing where there's half of the workers are just sitting around having beers and not actually working. <laughs> there's one guy like, working, I want to sit around watching them. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're claiming, you know, embezzling wages and shit. And then anyone comes along, it's a union, pal, fuck up. <laughs> 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 As you're walking down by the docks past there, two massive minotaurs in full plate come up to you. Uh, see. Excuse me, what sir. Do you want? Yeah, you seem kind of shifty, sir. Is that a crime? Yes, actually, by order of the <laughs> new mayor of Cadiz, Hector Sanchez. <laughs> Loitering really? is a crime. It's punishable by death. Right, I'll, I'll just walk up to him and be like, Excuse me there, pals. I'm trade minister, <laughs> you know, whatever. Wait, oh, oh, hello. Okay. Be careful, yeah, fella, be careful, Minister Rimmy. There's this like, dodgy let... individual right here. He might get you. Nah, pal, he's uh, one of my uh, apprentices. He's learning the trade, taking him down the back. All See right. Yeah, be, be careful, I don't trust him, and then you gotta do like the finger, you need the eye fingers out, <laughs> of watching yeah. you past it. Good day, pal. This is just gonna <laughs> yell, this is gonna yell after him as they run. Technically speaking, in terms of the, uh, the, the document in question, subsection 31, it has to be judged by Hector Sanchez himself, whether or not the individual is shifty in a court of law. <laughs> Hang on a minute. They turn around and they, they look at like the wanted poster of Spacho on the wall. <laughs> and then there's like a weasel yelling at them yeah. in a very familiar voice. <laughs> what you that voice at? sounds you... very familiar. <laughs> Runs away into the, into the alleys. What are you gentlemen staring at? Are you afraid of weasels? Cutting action to run faster. You, you like see Hector on the wall as a poster of, uh, of Spacho. Wanted dead or alive for a uh, hundred gold pieces. Preferably dead, I'd imagine. Yeah. I should probably ma make sure. I'm just gonna creep back get, over and uh, check out the wanted poster. Only a hundred gold pieces, man. That's insulting. <laughs> <laughs> you right, know, I've been out of I've been out of town for too long. I need to up my game. <laughs> I imagine his watch is gonna go up to all the wanted posters with his face on it and add a zero. <laughs> Two zeros. You, you know, I, I reckon I should probably cancel that. Also, I'm pretty sure you can make the one into a nine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, right. Have you seen the good I'll, I'll go the get some. I'll go get some paste and change where the comma is. <laughs> and uh, what you gotta do, right? Is is find a place nearby and get one of your friends to turn you in. Get the cat. Oh, we talked about that last night, actually. <laughs> we just made a revolving door of turning each other in for shit zillion dollars. <laughs> Still, though, we were the ones paying the bounty. Didn't you appoint his pacho as the guard captain as well? I don't think he did. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Yeah, but I will. Because there is no guard captain at the moment. True. I'll have to see about that after I find the black ball. Shadow ball. Yes, Pacho, I might need to look into um, cancelling that reward, I reckon. No, 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 man. Also, don't call me as Pacho. Call me uh, like... Pardon. What did uh, you call Senor What did you say? Uh, Senor H. Who? Yes, my name is... 
the like little weasel like leaning over the roof at them. <laughs> My name is H. <laughs> His weasel. Holy shit! That friend. weasel can fly. <laughs> I mean, no, I just climbed up the wall. He's just very jumpy. Yes, I jump really good. <laughs> Jumps really high. It's my pet weasel. A bunch of monkeys in a forest taught me how to jump good, and now I can jump really good. Can monkeys teach me to jump really good? Yeah, man. All you gotta do is cross the ocean to the jungle. Way out there, way across the sea, there's a little jungle full of little monkeys and, like, full lizard boys <laughs> and, like, little frog boys. They could teach you how to jump like crazy and swim like crazy. It's awesome. That sounds like absolute horseshit. And they just start walking away. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. That's right. You even listened, you idiots. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, back to business. Yeah, we need to get back to work. See. <laughs> Harassing the local cops. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Absolutely. Hey, my friend. This here is you, the squeaky uh, clean bathhouse, uh, Remy. All right. Yeah. All right. Is there a bunch of workers? Half yeah, there's like construction workers and stuff hanging around. <laughs> All right. I'll just be like, hey, my Goombas, how you doing? Hey, <laughs> boss. <laughs> so, um, you heard anything from the, the water Goombas? Water Goombas? No, not you. even yes, boss. Well, it's only been, been like a now? couple hours since you were last here. Yeah, you know when they come back? Well, we're expecting them at some point in the next week. Jeez. Alright, well. Well, you did only hey. like leave like 12 hours ago. Yeah, well, if one of them comes back, uh, tell them I want to see uh, where their boss is. Okay. And uh, have a word with them. All right. Yep. All right. Back, Back to work. To work. <laughs> and they just start <laughs> sipping tea and watching yeah, the one guy like... work. <laughs> this is some real end dot going on here. So they all have <laughs> upside down. Can I actually down. do that? By the way, like pay extra workers and have half of them work, half of them. Would you like to import some uh, Stratori family uh, rat boys from uh, the Empire? Yeah, assuming I can get them there, like, somewhat legally, yes. <laughs> yeah. Can import some, uh, rat boys. Yeah, the trade ministry probably could import just about anything. Yeah, legal. Well, just be like, they're specialized workers from the faraway land. <laughs> yeah. They will dig, dig ah. for the green. They yeah. know how to dig the really good, uh, holes. Yeah, that's right, boss. They can dig any foundation you want. <laughs> Excellent. As long as they're Spanish, they're good. Well, as long as they become Spanish. They're... Yeah, certainly, boss. They'll pick everything up. As long as they around. become Spanish citizens. <laughs> yes. <Easy. laughs> they're getting visas. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably <laughs> issue visas to be fair. You actually <laughs> can. You are the trade minister. <laughs> The uh, worst part is, if the, he couldn't, Sanchez would definitely be behind you on that. <laughs> He'd issue visas. Yeah. What is uh, Frenya up to, uh, Skog, while they're... Uh... I was just going to chit-chat with the local guards and, you know, see mm -hmm. what's going on. Trying to act a bit professional, that kind of thing. Maybe yeah. Maybe just because I'm nosy. Well, there's nothing much going on. Just transfer of power. Everyone in the city is still pissed off that the state troops are like living in their houses and eating their food. Same old, same old. Right. Imagine having people living in your house. Yep. They really should amend that. Yep. If only they had a the new mayor would do something about it. Right. Well, you know, maybe I can try and have a word with someone. Oh, if you can, that'd be great. To do something about him. Hey, Espacho, pal, uh, who did you want to see? It's about, uh, you know, damaging them ships. Well, man, on the down low, this place has got all kinds of underworld boys. Hmm. Who are you think? Not just the see? ones that you know. Well, the ones I know are out of town, apparently, but hopefully they'll come back soon. Uh, hey. Not much it's I can all good. do about it right now. Ross. Yeah? 
Where's the sleaziest speakeasy Hispacho knows of? Well, there is like a really shitty bar over here called uh, um, the. Uh, um, where's the ping? I'll do it again. There's a shitty bar over here called the. Um, uh, shit, I need a name for a shitty bar. The 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 the, the, the rotten the, foot. There you go, the rotten foot. There you go. Over hey here. man, there's this great place called the Rotten Foot. There's a lot of real spell duggers over there. We could probably, you know, get some get some ins and outs. Who knows? A lot of the dockers go there after work. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds promising. Uh... Oh, it's foot. <laughs> yeah. What's Hector's name again? Is the Scully's name? Uh, Sector Hanches. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hanches, uh, you want to check out anything before we go to this uh, bar? No, no. It is a uh, CD bar, no? Sounds excellent yeah. to me. All right, let's go. Excellent. <laughs> let's show them how he's done. Uh, hey, friend, yeah, come on, man. Frenia, it's time to go. Earthy. We are heading to a Tiratan foot. It's time to get ready to go on this computer. It just takes a minute. Of course. <laughs> oh, oh, these are uh, waterfolk. The gentlemen, <laughs> please. I get that there's a game on, but please make some space. They call it a spot? No, I'm calling you enthusiastic. Hey! Hey! Yeah, his partner just chimes in. Hey! Yeah, oh, they like hand you a can <laughs> of like shitty Spanish ale. Hey, man, uh, don't worry. I usually go for the wines, but uh, seems good to me. It just pops hey, it man. open. South Football Club is the best club of football. The Spanish They're Football so Club. <laughs> That's right, pal. Yeah. Yeah. They're so good. I love them. I get out my Vuvuzela and everything. <laughs> there was one on the table actually back in the bar. Or in the yeah, castle. They got the best wingers in the league, they do. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, go inside. Yep. Let's see. As you walk up the steps, there's like a little goblin and you step aside. Hola, senor. How you doing? Hola, got senor. Any good today. What did you say? Uh, how are you doing? You got any good hauls today? Ah, uh, not slow, slow day, sir. Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. He, he passed them on the shoulder. Holes or holes? Well, or then we. Holes. I can't really tell with the accent, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. I oh, can't tell uh, if he's looking for ladies of the night or big pits yeah. in the ground. As he, as he walks past <laughs> you, past he like bumps into Remy, and Remy, you like <laughs> catch his hand, <laughs> slap it away. <laughs> Uh, Try to go for your wallet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Way we <William>. pal. Fuck <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, Hector's gonna pat his uh, pat his pockets for his wallet. Make a perception test, pass. No. Oh dear. Now, Mister Hanches, that's always a mistake. Never tap your wallet near a beer pocket. That just tells them where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, if the pickpocket's already gone, but, uh... Okay, I don't... Well, I call his hand, I think being responsible. Take the money. Did he? It doesn't mean they won't try again or have some friends. Thirteen! You just noticed uh, that Remy just slap his hand and be like, get out of here. What, he, you don't like it? I mean, it seems like kind of a sketchy area. Mm -mm, true. That's true. That is the charm of this place, man. And I'm sure thing. it is. However, I'm very happy. Spot is gonna like squeeze through the cat flap. <laughs> <laughs> Go inside. To the CD okay. bar. Inside yeah. we go. That's one weird fairy. Yep. So you all go into the CD bar. You find yeah. a CD bar. Yes, yeah. I don't have a bar made yeah. up, so you're gonna have to imagine it. Nice. Hispacho, yeah, that's fine. Hispacho's going to to scan the room for like 
fish people of various kinds. Yeah, there was also some outside as well, but yeah, there are fish people in the bar too. All right. Yeah, he's going to just stand up on a table. Hey, guys, I'm looking for someone who's good at swimming, who likes football, and is in need of some quick and easy work. Yeah, <laughs> the whole bar starts <laughs> cheering. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, line on up. I on a minute. I on a minute. Yeah. Are we going to have a line of fish people? <laughs> <laughs> just like we, just everyone is just. I love Damn. it. Fantastic. That never gets old. He's gonna lean over to Hector and just kind of whisper, "Hey, man, do we know when we're expecting this uh, landing or whatever you were talking about this morning?" I'm not certain. That's the downside. Okay. Okay. All right. So everybody. You guys want some money, and we want some help with a little thing in the water. So, finger guns. Nor like C is sending their football team by way of ships. We want to give them a little uh, wet surprise. <laughs> Boo! A C. Death to the North FC. I know. Kill them all. It that seems mighty unsporting, just saying. <laughs> this isn't about sports, this is about war. <laughs> well, I mean, if you put it like that, then I suppose. See, they're sending... Such is going to run over and peek out the window to these other two guys. Hey guys, we got some work for you if you are interested. Oh we shit, really they just run off. <laughs> Come on in. It's just... Like two overweight people running as fast as you've ever seen an overweight person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit, work. Fast forward waddling. Yeah. It's, it's yet to be announced. <laughs> the but stairs ever... creaks under the sickle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's yet to be announced. But I have from very reliable sources heard that North FC is sending their best players to play a game here in Spain, oh, all boo. the way from the Artifice Empire. Boo. We yes. hate, Sp hate North FC. We wanted to surprise them by sinking their ships and giving them a little wet surprise. Yeah. Eh? Uh, Hector, you wanted to spot someone in the room? Uh, yes. Can the you make most... a perception test. I uh, sir? Yeah. Let's see if I make it. Seven. Uh, that's okay. You see a guy looking all edgy in the corner. Well, gentlemen, I will leave the planning for the football match to you. I'll uh, see you later. <laughs> A lot of uh, talk about that football, eh? Oh, it's insufferable. Let's see. Monsieur. It's coming home. Um, <laughs> yeah, in the background, just... his pachos just going like, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hector is going to be very careful and then whisper while in the disguise of se uh, Sector. You know, I'm a bit more of... Uh, Fan of North FC uh, myself, if you catch my drift. What okay. did he mean by this? <laughs> kind of looks at you, and he just he just kind of shrugs, and he's like, "Monsieur, I do not have any interest in the football. It is <laughs> rather cringe." I <laughs> was not thinking of the football. The football is not of interest. I was thinking of who North FC plays for. The Anthropos Empire? You catch my drift? I come from a place that is absolute hell where they do not stop talking about Nine Hells FC. <laughs> and 
fair enough. You don't like where you come from, I take it? No. You should I, uh, probably why not? a nice demon lady alone. <laughs> Monsieur, I once wrote havoc in the Empire until I was stabbed <laughs> by a fucking little creature. And now I am finally returned after two years. Wait Stuck. A Hello? Sorry, go ahead. Did this small creature happen to be somewhat draconic? I wouldn't call hmm. him small. Uh, he's a bit of a. He looks like a tiger man, but his hands are oh, backwards. Okay, so it wasn't a spatula. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, the stabber, not the stabby. No, there is a tiger-looking motherfucker who smells a bit like brimstone and garlic. Ew. Oh. It's not a good combo. It's sulfur and garlic. Yeah. <laughs> well, fair enough. Way. Way. He, he's just there sipping on, like, the fanciest wine he could find in this dive bar. Would the person who stabbed you maybe happen to have had ghosts? What was that you said? I missed it. Would the person who stabbed you maybe happen to have paws? Yes. It was one of those badger folk. A badger? A badger. I really? must find that badger. And um, I must stab that person. <laughs> There is a reason to believe this badger is here, then. Oh, they're in the Empire. I seek passage. I see. I've ended up in the wrong country. <laughs> well, I think that might be arranged. The uh, Nine Hells public transport is not the most... Uh, <laughs> the best uh, system. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be able to arrange your passage. Um, they claim to have the best transport system. However, they drop you off miles away from your destination. The Ryanair. <laughs> yeah, it's just night on the Ryanair. Remy, my friend. Yeah. I need you to arrange transport for the uh, noble uh, little. Uh, uh, oh, he, he's, the, he's rather large. The, pardon, the noble large uh, cat man over there. To uh, right, the well, Anthropos Empire. Anthropos Empire. You gonna go join him? Uh, <laughs> not gonna join him. But, oh, I was uh, asking Remy. But yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, I can just have one of my boys sort it out, you know. It's not a problem. <laughs> Excellent. I would arrange it myself, but I am currently in disguise. It's better. No worries. I'll uh, book him some transport where the uh, trade ship's going out. Fine. Excellent. The whole My time friend... that they're having this back and forth conversation, his botch is just like, tough FC, tough FC, with the guy, like, just, just keeping them, like, distracted and hype. Yeah, or oh, they're like all oh, like getting hyped and whatnot. They even buy you a little thimble of of a beer. Well the then, my gun. friend, I will arrange you transport. I, will... I forget what "thank you" is in French. <laughs> Merci. Merci. Yeah. Merci, sure. Monsieur. Yeah, when a French person thanks you, it sounds like they're begging for mercy. <laughs> Merci, monsieur. Thank you. Merci. Merci. <laughs> Is there a task I can help you with before I leave, monsieur? Well, I suppose. Are you better at handling ships, or are you, are you better at information? You seem like somebody well traveled. I can uh, gather intelligence rather easily. And he kind of shifts his form into you. Well, I'll be done. I would That's like to uh, learn as much as I can about the person known as the Shadow Paw. 
That sounds like a terrible name. <laughs> Who know. would call themselves that? <laughs> intelligence officer. Some dumb intelligence officer from the north. And how can I find you, monsieur? What is your name? Well, he's going to lean in closer and whisper, You can call me Hector Hercule Sanchez. You can meet me at the, the former Thagarak uh, fort outside of town. Uh, I am Henri the Rikshasa. Henry? I shall uh, come visit you in a few days. Excellent. Well, seems a good deal. Hex is going to hold out his hand and, uh, yeah, not at the man. <laughs> yep, he shakes your hand, but his hands are backwards, so it's a bit awkward. <laughs> oh, I. He's going to try not to mention what he thinks is a birth defect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Uh, That's okay. actually pretty cool that you managed to convince him to do that. Yeah, I can't believe I managed. Shit. Like, I guess Hector's just gonna go and get a drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Cool. Alright, boys, so that boat full of those dang North boys is coming. He's going to head north of here on the beach in the next couple days. <laughs> so I want to make sure you boys are there to sink their boats when they come north to land their ball. <laughs> Self FC! Hell oh, yeah. Why are you paying them a gold now and a gold when they do the job? <laughs> Everybody gets two gold now, and when you come back from sinking that dang North FC. Ten gold for all of you boys. How's that Whoa. sound? <laughs> Hang on a moment. So I'm just gonna copy one of them a second. So you yeah. are sending a Did bunch of random gold? people in the bar <laughs> to go and stand on the beach over here, yeah? To to go keep an eye out for ships that are look like they're gonna land there and then go try to sink them. <laughs> How many fishermen are they gonna oh. fuck with? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not our problem. Not care. It's not our problem. Yeah, Espacho is just stirring shit. Like his his plan is purposefully inadequate here. Uh, you know what? Hector doesn't really mind because you know what? If anything, that's the uh, price of being a fisherman in these trying times. <laughs> you send out the Cadiz <laughs> militia to go harass fishermen. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we understand what's happening, that's fine. Well, Hopefully, it's gonna to to say that this is poor for Leon <laughs> And then, like, if if they ever get like apprehended by guards for harassing fishermen, they're like, some weasel paid us to harass fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean a weasel? Like a literal weasel, man. <laughs> The, the, the probably the best part is yeah you know, you know uh, what it's one two three four five six seven eight guys so I'll knock sixteen gold off of my inventory to start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Rikshasa leaves the bar for convenience because there's not enough room in the bar. <laughs> you understand? I'll be right Go back. get them, boys! Sink those North FC sons of bitches. South FC, South FC. <laughs> As you like walk South out FC. the door, South like, FC backwards chanting South FC. Frenya, we're going uh, to watch the game. <laughs> okay. My camera appears to be fixed on the docks. Wait. Uh, yep. Just, just trying mm -hmm. to move the camera. There we go. Yeah. On a side note, just as like a little passive background thing, every time we walk past a wanted poster of a spot show, he's like this quick hop up and add a couple zeros to it with his yeah. from his forgery kit. Um, this bacho, I can't afford to pay this. I can't afford to Oh, it, you don't have to worry about it, man. If someone tries to catch me, I'm just gonna do what I always do. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. If you say and something. besides, I'm in disguise in this town. We. <laughs> I meant more, I can't afford to pay it if somebody comes in with a bounty. 
This man yeah, here man, just shouts, it. Hey, that's the guy on the poster. <laughs> oh, no. Are you accusing that's me? Right. It's me. <laughs> Are you accusing me? Are you calling me a criminal? Yeah, is that you? Hispacho? <laughs> Are you are you calling me a little dragon? <laughs> he, he looks at the poster and he's like squints. He turns around. He looks at you with your fake mustache. And he's like, I don't know. Like your disguise is pretty good, so you might be. Are you? I mean, I was born there. this way. Are you calling me, me my face a disguise? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably best to go with it. He just like uh gets uncomfortable. Spacho's uh, gonna peek over the roof and just yell out in like the voice of some random person that he's heard over the course of the years of this master of intrigue. Hey, I think this guy's racist against half orcs. <laughs> <laughs> son of a gun. Get him, put all the guys come running out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> na, 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 I thought you dirty na, na, racist hate on half orcs. This is just a guy fight erupts in the street <laughs> as they start beating the shit out of each other. There's some guards are standing right there watching this. <laughs> They're like, yeah, no, we're not getting up. involved in that. <laughs> they just walk <laughs> off the other direction. <laughs> Good old fashioned sectarian <laughs> violence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spacho, next time he sees like a wanted poster, it's also going to add a whole bunch of other crimes that they don't know he's done, but he knows he's done. He it. updates them. <laughs> like impersonating a noble, embezzling yeah. private or government is... funds. This lady comes up to you, Spacho, as you're in the middle of defacing one of your own wanted posters and starts saying, That's littering. You know, you need to be careful for the environment. It's not littering, I mean, it's, it's littering. writing. I didn't put the poster here, lady. If you got a problem with yeah. that, you go better find the person who you're put killing, the poster you're there. Killing the I trees. am just correcting the poster to you're prevent misinformation on the Walter net. <laughs> he is saving, saving us both money and the trees to oh, put shit. up a new poster with corrections. Yeah, she starts and like crying, <laughs> blubbering. <laughs> you need to save if the environment. You... Stop harming us. If you want the world to be a better place, you better start with yourself, young lady. You pick up the trash. You pick up the trash. <laughs> you you fucking need to do something. You need to do better. I don't have to hey, do anything. Hey, hey, I, hey, hey, I might want to. This you know is what? your fault. Hey, hey. I don't need you to know, do anything. You know, I'm perfect. If you really think about it, the amount of murders I have committed really helped save the planet from all the trash those people were making. So there you go. How's that sound? <laughs> what do you mean murders it's you committed? Like getting... Oh, at least 38. <laughs> guards! Guards! There's a murderer! I was going to immediately just like start running and like... <laughs> Wings out of this little weasel and just start flying away. Like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> this place is very Cackling. discreet, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get him! Get me! <laughs> Things are running after you, Hector. What do you want with me? Fly back over. Yeah, they start chasing What do you, you want Hector. with this guy, man? You are me! I'm the one you're looking for! Like, flying <laughs> circles like way She was the fixing the poster! Get him! This woman was littering in the street and berating locals. She's like make, a real problem and a real mess. Make a deception test, Hispacho. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this oh, woman. Sorry, my thing is on feet. disadvantage. The first oh, of those shit. two rolls was a crit. <laughs> yep. They uh, knock her on the head, knock her <laughs> out, and drag her off. This fucking That's bitch. We've been right. looking to you get her for that. anything. You clean up the street one one criminal at a time. <laughs> She's an eco terrorist. <laughs> Don't you know the dolphin meat industry is precious to Spain? <laughs> <laughs> the puppy meat industry is pre precious to Spain. <laughs> that too. Oh, hey, I think I'm gonna have to get a fresh disguise for this time. Man. Cool. 
I like how his macho just knows. <laughs> of course, man. This is my phone now. I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. All right. Enough of that. Uh, yeah. I think it's time for uh, Sector Hanches to uh, retire himself. Let's see. Oh, here's a good alleyway. Um. <laughs> Okay. What did he mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> this is all these men now. just watching this crowd of people go down like a dead end alleyway, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> He's gonna oh. wank off. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on in the alleyway? Hey, he's French. Don't question it. Go the other way. Mind your own business. <laughs> that is a very Parisian thing to do. Just piss on the wall and fucking. Cry. <laughs> oh yeah, god. Just... Uh, Hector's just gonna take off his disguise. Yeah. He, he might leave on, like, Ill something with a hood just covering himself. Can you make another charisma test? Uh, I will sure. help him with my disguise, kid. Oof. May I? Yep. Okay. I could roll my disguise to kid as well, but... Well, that's what I meant, yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. I mean, roll it. But make sure it's using charisma as a start. That's what I meant. Yes. You may re-roll it. I, I just yes, love just to, just to slight Greta. I rolled a twenty and a nineteen on accidental disadvantage. Like, <laughs> like God wanted that to happen, and I'm very happy. <laughs> She's been dragged <laughs> off to prison and is probably getting you know beat up in the in the jailhouse right now. Oh yeah, yeah, like. His, his Pacho might show up in disguise and see if he can get a little bit of that uh, beating action. Yep. <laughs> I get a five to take off my disguise. You fail. You accidentally tore your disguise and it got damaged. Oof. I'm going to die. It's this. okay, man. We can always make another one. The end of the nose cool. came off. <laughs> yeah, it broke the nose. <laughs> Glasses. My nose is broken. Well, rest in peace, Sector Anches. On a side note, his is gonna keep an eye out for like a stray street cat while we're going back to yeah. town. Make a perception test. Okay. Hector, what? as you walk back out of the alley, the guys are all like yeah. extra confused as like a guy walked in and then a completely different guy walked out. Uh, hey look, it's the city mayor. <laughs> Hola. Um there I had a business meeting down here. You see. It's a weird way of saying it. <laughs> like, we don't want to know about your business <laughs> <laughs> he, he was on his way to the booty call, you know. That's a disguise. Oh, God. Corrupt okay. politicians and they're, like, uh, yeah. meeting up with prostitutes I'll, I'll CD just place. the fedora to them and walk <laughs> Is All there right. a connection between known prostitute and pimp, Sector Hanches, and Kid is Mayor, Hector Sanchez. Oh shit, they're the same the... person. <laughs> no, no, no. They're in a deeply twisted relationship. <laughs> they're in a menage a trois with <laughs> someone else. <laughs> hey, you uh... hear that Hector Sanchez fellow's a gay? Uh... <laughs> yeah, we just seen him come out of the alleyway. <laughs> oh. Came out of that gay bar the other day. <laughs> Oh shit! Are you spreading rumors about him? If you if you want to do that, make a, make a uh, a deception test. Did you guys hear about the mayor? I saw him at the drippy spigot last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to spread false rumors about Hector, make a deception test. Honestly, that could be advantageous to to degree. Because it's just going to twist everyone's perception of them, so that when bad things happen, they'll just think it's another dumb, dumb, dumb rumor. <laughs> True. True. Or they'll yeah, just... make them basically cry wolf until like yeah. nothing matters. <laughs> yep. If you wish to do that, make a deception test. <laughs> um, should we? Do I that? would do it myself, but uh, Hector going around talking about sector hunters might not be good for his reputation. Yeah, do it later, man. I don't know. All right then. No, no, you, you can go ahead. Hispacho, you find a stray cat. Okay. Oh, Is it roughly Hispacho's size? Yep. Uh, 
Yeah. Mm. Uh, like when it goes down an alley where nobody seems to it's be. It's like cleaning on itself it. on a windowsill. <laughs> on a window, like outside of a windowsill? Uh, like like a outside cat? someone's house on a windowsill, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna take that cat out and uh, take it with him. He's <laughs> gonna he kill gonna the cat. Skin... He's just skin he it. Gonna... Oh, damn. He's gonna fresh skin it. He's gonna hold so this yeah. <laughs> he needs to, he needs oh to update his disguise in this town. Uh, before Can you make he does a survival that, he's gonna make test? sure nobody's... Yeah, sure. Like, before, like, I'm not gonna, like, split it open in the middle of the street or anything, but, like, he's gonna take out the cat and drag it all out of sight. Shit. And, uh, we'll see what happens oh, from there. Survival <laughs> test, just flat. Alright, this is probably not gonna go well, but, yeah, it's only a nine. Uh, you, you do a really shitty job, but you, you manage to make a disguise out of it. Yeah. This bot oh. is going to get it back to the. Uh, he's not going to wear this one right away. He's going to roll it up and put it in his little thing. Yeah, you just leave like the dead cat on the ground and walk off with it. Like, <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, later on, he will. Uh, when he gets back to the port. Oh he's my god, Bobby! Proper disguise. <laughs> the cat is dead. He's <laughs> got no skin. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been the pickpockets again. Oh dear. Next time he passes one of his own wanted posters, he's gonna add pet murder to the list of crimes he's wanted for. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, like this is literally how he changes his outfits, Kong. <laughs> oh god. It's like, I can't use magic to disguise myself because it doesn't affect my limbs, and I have an extra set of limbs being wings, so it's hard mm. for me to disguise myself. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe right. if we find, like, a taxidermy shop, actually. Hmm. Boss, we want to go to the office and do some work, or get someone else in line? Um, well, sure can go to the office, but, uh... But uh, first, I was thinking I might need to uh, see about some representatives for the city of Tall. I Don't mean, we, we can do that at the office, surely. We can uh, Good drum point. up some, someone can tell us some candidates, or we can pick them ourselves, and then we'll just appoint them. Look. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, not our representatives. I heard there's somebody in town we might need to see about. Oh, all right. But uh, yes, we can go to the <laughs> office. I'll uh, we'll have them sent in. <laughs> I like that because that's, that's literally what he's going to look like next time he comes to town. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Let's see. We can go to the office. I'll I'll just ask them to bring. Me. Oh my god, those are cursed. <laughs> yeah. I'm not showing yes, them with the recording. Yeah. This, they're, they're, they're like, funny, but they garish. When, when <laughs> is in disguise, image number two is literally what he's going to look like <laughs> next time he comes back to town. <laughs> oh my god. Is yeah, that a uh... cat skin shirt? Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. Anyway, Moving after on. after his yeah. macho has uh, collected his new outfit, disguise, materials, he's going to lay low and just slink along rooftops for the rest of his time in town. Mm -hmm. Stealthily following okay. along with Hector and Remy and keeping quiet. He's gone to do enough hijinks today. Okay. Oh, wait. That's not the office. There's the office. Wrong alleyway. Where Bro. are you going? Uh, we're heading to the office. Oh, you're down there. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's go inside. Yay! Let's go to work. Ah, it's good to be mayor and overlord and dictator. Hey. I keep forgetting it's always the the same office. I'm like, wait, isn't this the courthouse? I'm like, yeah, it is, but it's it's also that. Shut up, me. I'm the bartender, but I'm also. I feel the like mayor. the bodies wouldn't still be here. True. Also, I don't think he should be without the gun. I'm I'm in the wrong lair. Uh. <laughs> God, cross. Imagine using the same set but not having cleaned out the bodies. Oh. <laughs> They've just been uh, sitting there for a while. <laughs> they smell a bit. For a whole day, a whole night. 
Do we get like private offices or do we just do everything here more or less? Like... No, it's oh, just shit. one room. Yeah. And there's the dignitaries you wanted to talk to. Mm. Ah, yeah. excellent. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, do we have any business today? Any requests so far? Uh, you were to inform them as to whether or not you think that uh, Cadiz was going to uh, join the war on behalf of Spain or uh, stay out of the war. Ah, we're joining on behalf of Spain. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as for any other uh, requests, any business on that account? Do I have any petitioners at court, basically? So... This man is going to approach. Oh. Uh, I see. Speak. Like, I recognize you. Do you? Hector Sanchez. You killed see? my cousin. At least you didn't what? kill his father. You had you had you had him you had him hung on false charges. You claimed he was a heretic. Ah, the um, Mister Fagrov, no? Yes. He was a friend of mine. He got hung, unfortunately, on charges I do believe of heresy. I on under the supervision of my father. I wouldn't want to be one of your friends. <laughs> Say what you will, but. Uh, you're still alive, aren't you? Hmm? The Duchy of uh, Thal would not work with you. Okay. You're a dishonorable are you, man. Are you the only representative of Thal, or...? No, there's an entire, like, table over here. And they're just like, hmm, this is interesting. We didn't know about this. <laughs> okay, Signor, uh, I would like to clear up. My father was the one behind it, if anything. The fact that he got hung, but uh, was only after it was found. Uh, that he was... Um... Remy, would you clear it up for me? Was it that it was a heretic? It was found something heretic. Make a persuasion he was test. in possession of heretical material was found, boss. Make a perception sad, test. And Stu can do, and add to it as well. Oof. That's uh, perception, I said persuasion. Persuasion? Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. There we go. There we go. The guy's like, oh, well, I guess that sounds like you done it through the legal channels. I but was not behind it. I, I, I withdraw did not want... my complaint, sir. I, I will, however, say you have my condolences. I did not want to see him die. But unfortunately, he was found guilty of being... I accept dead. your uh, condolences. Apologies. I misunderstood the situation. And he goes and he takes a seat. <laughs> Okay, next petitioner. Yeah, the different members of the uh, delegation will all also come up now and again and uh, inform you as they feel like uh, Cadiz has made the wrong decision and uh, joining the war is not going to be good for the cities of Tol and Cadiz, it is going to impact you very negatively. In fact, the Empire now has license to invade us. I respect your assessment, however... As far as I have been informed, it is in the best interest of Spain, considering recent developments that we attack while we can before we get attacked. I have been informed that we are in the crosshairs of Anthropos Empire representatives. Well. I'm still doing the fact-finding on the case, but it is my assessment in any case that better to strike first than strike later. Mm-hmm. Is there any final thing you wish to say to the delegation from Thal before they leave? I am very thankful that you took, uh, took your time to come meet us. Um, I'm terribly sorry for the actions of my predecessor. Um, 
I hope we can remain on good terms, despite our differences of opinion. Yeah, well, they kind of scoff and then turn and leave. There, that is the map there. Shit. Yep. The other man over there will approach and uh, it is his turn to uh, ask you a question. He, he doesn't even bow or anything, he just walks over as if you're expected to uh, honor him. And Hola, he, sir. he kind of stands there and stares at you. And what would be the proper title for you, Signor? I am the uh, uh, captain of the state troops. Captain of the state troops, greetings. Yep. Yep, the men aren't getting good enough meals. We require better meals for the men. I, I I can assume that you will provide that. Uh, the men also require better beds. We need new mattresses for all the men. All, uh, what is it, 200 men require new mattresses, new billets, um, new bedding, uh, entirely new um, boots for all the men. Uh, he's like, starts reading off a scroll. Uh, and it's, it's completely um, unreasonable. <laughs> Everything he's asking for. Um, I'm sorry, my friend. We uh, neither had the budget nor the availability of these resources at this time. I am sorry to say, but for you and us, it. I, it well, is that is unfortunate time. for you. You can provide that by to, by uh, the end of the week. Okay. Is that a threat? <laughs> kind of. You, you can't see his face because he's wearing a mask. <laughs> you get the impression that he's uh, a bit confused as to. Why you're not just accepting it? Signor, is is that a threat? Uh, uh boss, if I may interject, I think he's suggesting that uh, the state troops will simply leave and no longer be part of the garrison if they don't get their the stuff they need. That would be very unfortunate, wouldn't it? He, he turns to you and he's like, that's exactly not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you're going to provide more or for the state troops or we're going to take it from the city. Take it. Now that is a threat there. Yeah. Captain. It is not uh, a very good threat because you rolled a seven. <laughs> I, I you don't like threat the law of the city. In this direction. <laughs> yeah. Really? And you have the blessing of the Chaos Empress. Wh whose blessing do you have? Of on these? Queen Isabella Dragonbridge La Sorna. The, uh, she the has guy, given you credence. The guy to... over here will like write out a null really quickly and just like hand it over to you and be like, "Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, he's an official military representative." Yes, but is, does he have a license he... to take mattresses and go yeah, he, he, he has written under item. under that. He has written. Uh, you technically have rank on him. Okay. In that yeah. case, uh, I'm sorry to say, sir, uh, Signor. Yeah. Uh, Captain, you will not get your boots, you will not get your mattresses. I will have to see about this issue after I see into more pressing matters, which number in war and the unlawful occupation of Spanish lands. I will get back to you end of the month. May I offer a suggestion, sir? What do you say, Frenya? I was going to suggest that perhaps they could make we could have a barracks constructed on the seaward side, so they have the nice fresh sea air, and that means that they can have their own barracks and they won't have to worry about other people being in the way. I shall certainly look into it as soon as possible. I'm sure the only nice wooden one could be built temporarily and then get a proper stone one built in good time. You make a good argument, Frenio. And then, and then, if you'll. Uh, hear me out on this, they will have all nice, new, fresh, you know, feather beds and such, and it will be a very nice warm time for them. This sounds acceptable. I will see what I can arrange, sir. Don't you worry about it. You make a very compelling point, Frenya. Yes, on the north side of town, along the shore, it's a very nice place. Oh, Very really? compelling. Ah, see, it's got the best view out of the sea. 
Can you provide tents so we can go and start moving it people out there now? Tents? Um, certainly. Uh, we shall see into it. We shall have a look at tents, but I think a, a simple wooden barrack shouldn't take too long to build. Mm. True. I'm sure you'll all get on like a house on fire. This is acceptable, <laughs> and at least we can avoid having to stab you. Good day. I see. He doesn't even bow, he just walks off. Uh, I'm gonna stop him. Yeah? Nah, nah, nah. Let's, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you back before you stop him. Yeah. <laughs> just let, just let him go. <laughs> you gotta just like stab see him in the me. middle of the, <laughs> the It would be fine. <laughs> If you say so, boss. Yeah. I'm just gonna kind of, yeah, walk back slowly. Like, I don't yeah. trust that fucker. So are you sure trying to get the a state... nice warm relationship with them before long. Are you trying to get the state troops to just move outside the city? In that we're world? going. To, we're going to kill. It would be bad. Well, <laughs> with one it's kind stone. Of a double-edged sword, actually, because yeah. if they're in the city, they can potentially do damage, but we can also do damage to them. Outside the city, it's more of a even fight as well. So yeah. Where's well, the thing? If we, if they are gonna can, well, I'm thinking we can scout out their sub commanders because obviously this guy's an asshole. He needs to be removed. You, yeah. you would also be aware However, that he doesn't have 200 men. He yeah. only has 50 men. Yeah. The bright side is he was demanding things, <laughs> like more yeah, things yeah. than he needed. Well, that's the thing. We make yeah. them a barrack so that. Yeah. That will make the population happier. Honestly, I'd imagine we could probably have a whip round, and they would probably help us fund either through funds, materials, or labor to make them a barracks to get them out of their homes. We were to and fight. then if that barracks happens to burn down next week, then that's a tragedy. <laughs> if yeah. we fast forward um, about a day, the entire yeah, population of the when, city uh, would small put money in on that <laughs> because they want yeah. them out of their homes <laughs> we'll we'll have have a, a fund yeah, and on no, top of that yeah. like, oh, that's good actually but but yeah, also on top of that thing, when the, like, when the enemy boats the arrive when yes. the enemy boats arrive we'll have a nice little buffer between them and us Chris, we'll <laughs> have a to, to meet them bear, bear in mind one thing by the way the message that was to tell the enemy where to land you intercepted and it was never sent because you have it Oh shit! Good <laughs> Oops. Yeah. So they didn't get the information for the landing point because you still have it. I feel like they would have sent multiple yeah. letters just in case. Yeah. 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 Just in case, it's good to have it. If you only send one letter, it's, it's, that it's, is hundred percent error. You letters. can still send the letter. I guess. But... Because then they won't be suspicious that it got caught or he got caught. Good point. Yeah. While, um, while his okay, loves we the copy idea the letter and send to multiple like, copies. Also, All bear in mind, you could change something yeah, on the well, letter. Also a good point. Yes. Yeah. When uh, when this whole meeting is done, Hispacho is <laughs> going to come back in. It's like, yeah, Hispacho, like, he, he knew that they didn't get the letter, so he's just been stirring shit all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is just so much fun. But uh, yeah, Spacho is gonna come over to you, Hector, after the meeting is over, when nobody else is around here again. Mm. See, what these are not in. Hey, so uh, I could always just you know take a little flight out and see if I can spot any boats along you know in the distance along the coast. If I have to, I could fly all day out to where a boat is and like drop the message on it. Um, I could probably disguise myself as like a bird or something. It just, it just depends on how far I have to fly, you know. I'll have to adjust some information in the letter, but I think that would do very nicely. Very smart. If you're going to do that, man, let me help you. If you're going to do that, let me help you. I'm a professional at this sort of thing. Like, I made so much business doing it. We'll do it together. We'll keep an eye on each other's work, and we'll do it right. Okay. PC's big deal, man. Good point. If only you knew how to send a letter to the Empire. <laughs> do we? Yeah. One well, of you does. Hmm. One of you has a oh. connection to the Empire. 
It depends where it was intercepted, though, also. I suppose. Well, you don't know that. Okay. But one of you has a connection to the Empire who could have the letter delivered. Good point. Um, okay, roll 20 isn't popping up, but good yeah. point. Remy can I... can send the letter along his uh, his <laughs> weapon <Retreat> network, <laughs> where you're like sending weapons to the Empire to outfit the enemies. <laughs> I suppose because I didn't forget that Rivi was selling wef uh, Spanish weapons to the Empire. Yeah, supplies and weapons. Yep. <laughs> Oof. You know, just excess that comes out of the military stores and supplies. He's like emptying mm. out the the, the, the the armory in Pamplona, and selling it to the Empire. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still making and money on that? Missing. Yeah, you are. <laughs> nice. You've been making a lot of money doing that. <laughs> if you do this, maybe a little unethical. Are you doing the same thing in Cadiz? I could do the same thing. Oh, dude, dude. Yeah, because you're in charge of the trade what? network. We can steal yeah. from those pricks that just were talking <laughs> shit to us. I, I, would, I, I would have the addendum. <laughs> we, we, we scope out the other officers and see if it's just this one guy. Yeah. If it's just that one guy, we could yeah. probably depose him, or have something happen to him. Um, for example, he could be found with loads of fresh blood facts, and he could also be him. found just like drunk <laughs> again. In the river, like as well. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. We'll probably get a spatcho on this one. Uh, he seems like the type. Um, yeah, I think we need to scope it out, find out if there's a better alternative, and uh, promote this person by some means. Okay. Because the thing, if we can get them on our side, because for example, a, a a recently promoted officer might be willing to help us. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll be wanting to <laughs> secure their position. If they've got a nice shiny new barracks that we've just you know built for them, then they'll probably be awfully grateful. You know, maybe they'll be willing to, you know, do stuff for us. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Like a C, remember that just a face. <laughs> Notice the helmet. <laughs> That's a different thing. Oh, there we go. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna. There'll be just... one of us before you know it. I mean, I'm trying to find a more ethical solution, and overall, the, ethical is, the efficacy of this is we need to get all of these soldiers out of the civilians' homes. What's the best way to do that properly? We make them a barracks. You know, it may not be the cheapest option, but if it keeps everyone happy, then we don't have murder in the streets. This is generally perceived, perceived to be a good thing. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um, before Hector goes to adjust the letter, he has one last petition. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A personal petition. Yeah. I would like to put forward a recommendation that we uh, permit the opening of a uh, branch of the Sanchez Bank. Mm -hmm. Passed. Okay, we are going to have a branch of the Sanchez Bank. I shall send the letter to my father. Mm -hmm. in Very good, sir. See. Um, hopefully that will be able to boost our lack of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, further, I suppose, I'm going to send a little... Uh, a little, 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 little letter to a uh, old friend of mine, mm -hmm. El Tanin. We'll uh, hopefully soon be marching on Navarre, and I hope for him to meet us. We're marching on Navarre? Uh, eventually, not yet. Are we sending the city guard to the war? Uh, let's see. Double checking my plan. This botch is just like, no, no, like using his telepathy, just being like, no, no, no. No. Uh, not the. Uh, oh, you're sending watch. your army to the war. They're the all just like, oh, okay, they're all like. 
I got confused for a moment. <laughs> We're going to the war with Devoir randomly. <laughs> Uh, not you, no. Uh, uh, we we, and we, the Empire. we and sided with Spain Britain. in the war, and now we're going to invade Spain. <laughs> we are taking okay. yeah, back exactly. yeah. the occupied territory. Oh, what kind of? It is occupied. Occupied by territory. Unlawfully occupied by mercenaries. Yeah. You know what? At that exact moment, in walks uh, Zan. For convenience, and he goes and takes a seat. Hola, Sam. Yeah. We were just talking about uh, getting reinforcements for our eventual march on your home. Mm -hmm. Cole will take a seat over here. And uh, Frankie will uh, wander off in the corner over here. I'm thinking when we do eventually march, as of yet, we have a few kinks in the plan, so we won't be marching quite as soon as I thought. Um, I have to resolve some business here in Cadiz, but uh, when we do the part, you and uh, Glorkol will be heading the Shartouf troops. Mm -hmm. So you want to give him the... Hang on, let me go to the, the castle and grab your banners. This is what the banners are for. Yes. Okay, so you want to... In that case, we should have red for Altana's troops. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll remember that for later. So you want to give him your household? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, staying will be the Cadiz troops, and mm -hmm. I'd say... Ciao, I don't... I think I was thinking of bringing Chow to the fight. I so, think they should stay unless somebody has any interjections. Just so we don't come back and find the lads taking over. Maybe half and half, actually. Half stay, half go. Yeah. Of the mercenaries. Cool. Mm. And you want to send a letter to uh, El Tanin to send his uh, his men. Mm. Ah, yes, actually, uh, I think we're sold this ten mercenaries. Sorry, could you review that? So you want to send a letter to El Tanin to send his men? Uh, I'd say send his men in. About a week, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm estimating maybe a week to get the information on yeah. the Shadow Core and get rid of them. Yep. So you're bringing uh, these men. No, hang on. These men. Uh, here. You're bringing. This is going to be your army. What are they going to do? You just died. Oh, we lost pasta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rip. He just yeah. put together an army and then ran off. <laughs> uh, no, no. Fucking disco just stopped. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Uh, Eltaran sends his men in a week. Hopefully, we'll send our men in a week as well. We'll fetch... fetch the Verona troops, Sanchez troops, and such. Yep. And these shop dudes, and then we'll meet them. Do you want us to depart now? Uh, no. Uh, hopefully, the letter will reach them as soon as possible. A week thereafter, they will depart. And then, hopefully, I'll be able to dispatch you in a week. But we are not departing yet. All right. The longer you don't have to be out there with few rations and few men, the better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, see, so, I do agree with that. Is it? We'll have a um, 
emissary dispatched tell me El Tanen in his hometown of uh, what's El Tanen's hometown town again? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Okay, a big city. volcano. Yeah, big volcano. The volcano city. Yes. The city next to the volcano, and there's one city on the volcano. Yes, next to the volcano. Or is he actually in the one in the volcano? There's another one in the volcano that's technically part of his territory. Okay, somewhere there. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, see. Is that it? If there is any other petitions, then yes, that is all. All right. Would anyone else like to do anything before we wrap up for today? Um, I'll just go over. Hmm? I think I've sown enough chaos for now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just go over the book trading and see how the budget's doing, how the GDP of the town is it's doing. It's not good, good at all. <laughs> it's terrible. I'll, yeah. work, I'll work to some small increments to see if we can improve it and get yeah. the economy going again. Uh, I'll also send out people to check out the, the army boys and see who their officers are. Aside from the suggestion of the crowdfunder, at least for funding the barracks, um, Hector's gonna suggest Maybe we increase import tax. The uh, the fifty men have uh, five um, optios. So it's that's five officers. The it's basically school. five sergeants. They're not even. They're not even sergeants. They're like uh, five sub sub like uh, officers. Okay. Uh, um, um, non non commissioned. Um, is there anyone above the caps? No. Well, not here, anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah. That clears things Technically, up. <laughs> they are uh, beholden to the dictator of Kadizm. Who is the most senior sergeant? Who would be next? Well, the, 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 like, the next senior are the Optios. But who's the most senior? Then? The first Optio, the Optio Primus. Captain was to me an accident. <laughs> like... well, you, you want to summon the Optio Primus? I guess. Well... We want to know who the likely candidate would be if the captain died for the next one. Well, the Optio Primus would. Oh, yeah. who's, who, who are the they? first, the first, uh, the first sergeant, basically. Who, who is the? Do we know anything about the first sergeant? Uh, because we'd like to. <laughs> uh, I'll make it up on the spot. Uh, his name is um Maximus. Oh. He likes long walks on the beach. Mm. Uh. <laughs> He likes to read Fifty Shades of Grey, and, uh... Awesome. This guy yeah. sounds like kind of a stem. we should look at someone else. <laughs> but he's actually pretty chad. He, he, he works, he's been in the army for, like, ten years. Really? Yeah. He should be an officer if he's been there for ten yeah. years. Hell yeah. Or at least not a sergeant. <laughs> not even Alright, well, we'll put a no in him and you can, can work an angle with him. You can, um, take, take over and give him, make him a centurion. Well, I don't think we want to take over just yet. But we can lay the groundwork. We can lay the groundwork. We need, you know, <laughs> you know, wine and dine the guy. Uh, you talk about his uh, future promotion options. You see, see if we can get him to depose the guy himself if he thinks there's something. Yeah, in that might be something. Do you want me to? So do you want me to drop him in there? No Maybe not him. right now, but like. Go and meet him up There's somewhere in town in the week, sort of thing. Yeah, we can buy him a drink. A nice downtime activity. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you on the gun, <laughs> Sorry, he's just crashing around behind me. So I'll now. also put in some small funds to help with the crowdfunding in case uh, the barracks is low on money. If you can make a. Uh, in Investigation check. You might be able to learn some information about the troops Bro. themselves. My bad. <laughs> Help. 
The guys refuse to talk oh, to Remy. All right, but they don't like rat people. Uh, They're racist. Yes, if you can, yeah. yeah. Okay. Pro See tip. if a talking don't... ferret can change their minds. Don't have two tabs open for an extended amount of time without looking between them, because I just got every notification sound from like the last hour in one go. Yeah, as soon as you nice. click on it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So investigation, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. I'm gonna help with this because this is technically my job. You get advantage, Skog. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <roll. laughs> I got a slightly better roll than Stu. Sorry, I got distracted right in there. What are we up to? They're trying to learn information Grand about the state troops. <laughs> oh, fair. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to find out who's gonna be the best person to replace this guy because he's clearly corrupt. And incompetent. Oh yeah, he's also just an ass. Like, he's it doesn't ass. matter if you're big an army man. You can't just go up to a lord and say he has I to do think, this. I think it. what we especially, do... especially when you're fully aware the shit place has shit for money. Now, yeah. the question is, do any of the local religions believe in like you know human sacrifice as a good luck charm? Yes, just yes, good. they do. So can we find one of their priests, take him to the site where we're going to build this new <laughs> Conveniently, he's right and there. Cool. Just can we to sacrifice them. this guy to bring good luck to the troops that are stationed there in the future? And as a high-ranking officer, he would be well-suited to this. I'm saying we get him drunk, persuade him it's a good idea, and then do it at night. So <laughs> Frenya, you, you and Espacho overhear a conversation with some of the guys as you're like going around trying to find information uh it turns mm. out the troops actually hate the officer i can imagine perfect <laughs> because because he keeps we aware of his name because the citizens are going to not like officer they don't really get much choice <laughs> he's not going to need one when you kill him in five minutes <laughs> you know, but, but does he have a name because i want no no i don't want us to kill him i want the Empire to kill him. Oh, you wanna you wanna convince them to fucking Caesar him? I, I'm going I to make him a priority I, target. I think we could. Yeah, so I think we can keep some options available, and uh, you know, do what he wants. Like you know, butter him up a little, and then we push him off a cliff. You know, and, and because of all the butter, he'll slide nicely. Why don't you make a persuasion check? Um, I mean, I can. Uh, this is mostly a sort of. Are we going to fast forward a few days point. while you wait for some time to catch up to do uh, uh, stuff? I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to take us a month or so to get much done. Uh, I'm aware yeah. my phone is ringing. Yeah, I guess I'll help her in on that, try and carouse with some of the guys to see if we can. Yeah, because if you're going to fast thing. forward an entire month. That means you're gonna there get you some go. special news that uh, you're not well, gonna want to hear. Not not that long, but it's yeah. a case of if we're gonna be trying to build this barracks, that's yeah. not gonna be a quick thing. So I'm saying we put this on the back burner, but we keep an eye because on it. Because you wanted to do a but... thing before an event happens, and the event was in a month. No, yes, oh, yes. it's more. I'm I'm being realistic. Uh, this is something we need to address, uh, just not right no, now. I know, I know that you don't know about it, Skog, but Pasta knows about it. So I'm just letting him, oh, reminding him. Saying, it's a, this is a future yeah. job. This is not a yeah. job we should do right now. I'm saying we should do all the groundwork. Mm -hmm. What I'm hoping is we might at least be able to... We'll need to slow the march on. We'll need to put the march on the bar on the back burner. But I do believe we should maybe next session try to go to Pavlona. A report. Well... Yeah, report, um, celebrate, maybe. We Hopefully. can, however, I think we should resolve this thing with the captain first before we go, because he gave us a week before he'd get really pissy, I think. Um, yeah. You did convince I... the men to turn on the captain. Oh, did I? And if oh, you nice. want to fast forward like a week, you're like... Well, I'm saying we should you know, start building the barracks because if he gets sus and writes a letter that could be a problem, whereas if he's Yeah, because we can get rid of him and still build the barracks because the man oh, yeah. like that I mean, we well, still so... need the barracks, that's yeah. the thing but it's the, if we don't we don't want to get rid of him straight away we Yeah, wanna... but we want to get rid of him before we go to Pampolo and I Oh, yeah, don't, don't needs... worry about it because the men might have sorted that out and this guy got promoted <laughs> 
Yeah. Mm. Oh really? Is yeah, they knifed him really in the back well. one night. <laughs> they just did it on the day. Perfect. He got fragged. Uh, no, oh, it's yeah, like yeah, two yeah, or three so days later. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They like Thanks. knifed him. He, you, you woke up the next morning to get news that he washed up on the beach. <laughs> he got drunk and uh, you know stumbled into the sea. Got knifed like fifty times and uh, nice. tried to knife me. Get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, uh, the the fir- uh, Optio Primus is now uh, Centurion. Yeah. Well, in that case, I guess he yeah, like comes in and like high fives Cole. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There you go. Well, Yay, he's a cool dude. Yeah. <laughs> Use your yeah. B-boys. Well, in that case, just uh, tell him that, okay, I need to head quickly down to Peplona, but we'll see about getting you a barracks before yeah. we go. Mm-hmm. The, the, Again, the main... I mean, when we get back. You can take them with you. Now, the state I'm... troops? Yep. They work for you <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to raise, though, the obvious problem. We've got a guy who is willing to kill his superior to get ahead. Yes. We can't keep him now. You met him that way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't plan to. I, I want to find out who might be a good a good replacement. Not that we should make that happen. Well, <laughs> it worked too well. <laughs> I'm aware um, it worked too well. The plan, I, it was, you know, a bit well, more... Think about it, Rigor. It's, it's yeah. Not... <laughs> Well, I, I, I as long as we, we build the barracks, yeah, we, we'll get the crowdfunder run, running. We build the barracks. You could just leave Hope... Zhao in charge of the city while you go away. Sounds yeah, good to me. Like, I, I reckon Zhao could kill him and his boys if there are any problems. Yeah, if they start making issues, hopefully he'll be able to do the barracks building business too. Yeah. Just need to make sure we send the letter before we go back yeah. to Pavlona. Put it this way: in the space of a week, um, after like two or three days, you come back, and uh, you, you're at the castle, and Jao will inform you. Uh, where are you, Hector? Can you not oh. put drop yourself next to Jao over here. Uh, where was I? Say? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, can you... I'm just gonna drop drop the fresh me. Oh, I see yeah. you there. I'll drag you over here. So oh, nice. Jao will approach you and say that he lost Peril. His Peril actually they rolled really well in a stealth check and managed to lose him. Peril's gone. Yeah, Peril disappeared. You see him, he's dead. Yeah. Like having killed. Yes. Then again, in like two or three days, right. On a... uh, this guy appears mm-hmm. and is like, uh, I have a gift for you, sir. See? Yeah, that... Uh, Black Paul, you were looking for? See? Yeah, I got him. He's here. And you see dead Paro in the, under a tarp in the car. Excellent. You have my blessing. Mm-hmm. May San Luca bless you on this day. All right, thank you. Your passage will be uh, swift, I hope. The swiftest ship for you, my friend. Mm-hmm. Yay! Nice. Alright, I'm gonna rest I'm in gonna pieces, kind of Blackfall. Really so, a uh, uh, going back to the first day when Frankie catches up to them at the town hall. Yeah. First thing his watch is gonna do is like, "Hey, was the food okay?" Oh, it's good. No poison or anything. No. All right, good. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, over the course of that few days. Espacho is basically going to go out at night and patrol up and down the northern part of the coast mm-hmm. to see if you can see like the lights of ships out in the distance at all. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but uh, you don't. he'll do that for a couple nights. Just the to only make sure that the only ships you see are Spanish, we were... Spanish ships. Okay. Yeah. The other thing too is, and the he'll probably get a laugh out. out of this, but yeah. the boys he hired are just probably harassing fishermen, right? Yes. <laughs> and anyone who goes yeah. along the He's coast. just gonna be like cackling. Um Yeah, he's just gonna be cackling like a like a little uh, asshole that he is as he's flying around like taking a look at all this stuff. Henri is uh, gonna adopt the persona of uh <laughs> Peril and go back to the Empire. <laughs> so fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh I, I only have one introduction. Before mm-hmm. we had the time skip, I was hoping to send the letter, but I yeah. need to look at the map for just a moment. Cool. Cool. Uh, need to adjust the uh, yeah. enemy camp. 
<laughs> would be tempting to, to uh, put Thor, but that would be dumb. <laughs> it's a bit too far inland. Yeah. Uh, let's say... You could just say I a random seven. number. I-7. I-7. Okay. Okay. There we have it. Okay. Quick question for the lads. What do you think about my new mock-up for the message? Can you can you post it in the in game chat so I can find oh. it later? Yeah. Uh, or even the Discord it in chat. The Ramshaw chat. Yeah, if you put it in one of the chats, I'll see it later. It should. Yeah. Be the Ramshaw chat. Uh, oh, I just yeah. don't see it right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, it. But on. at least he he's had the same landing, adjusted the enemy camp, and that's more or less the only adjustments. Yeah. <laughs> and he sent the message out. Was Kate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A talking parrot named named Churro. Oh, you know what? You know what you could do? You can send it with the letter with Henri back to the Empire. James Bambi. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I, I'm trying to make them so misinformed about who the collaborators are. Okay. Uh, the only can someone person... read this? Can someone read the letter that you're sending? Okay. Shall I read it? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Read it. Additional enemy forces have gathered at Cadiz. <laughs> Under the traitor Hector Hercule Sanchez, they are approximately two battles in number, and his company are the molly coddled El Captain Jao Gordo da Gama, former acolyte of the mummified hand James Bambi, <laughs> and Nicholas Cage the Exile. <laughs> The force is under the command of Centurion Kewel Rule, formerly of the Octio Centuri and Legio Condottieri, 6 Auxiliary Cohort. The battles include 30 kobolds, 22 orcs, 70 mercenaries of various origins, 20 of the City Watch of Cadiz, and two privateering vessels plus half crew. Despite having a force of 150 warriors, the lot has only provisions for 20, even less than before. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, a talking parrot has the milk sop in Chess's ear, by which he refers to as Churro. <laughs> Be sure to arrange a tiny axe for his execution. <laughs> Can you make um, a um, a test to forge the document? To a, what? What is it called? Is it forgery tools? Yeah. Can you make a forgery tools test? Yeah. If forgery. you have it. Or oh, if yeah. you don't, make a deception I will, test. I will, I will, I will help. I yeah. will help to give him advantage yeah. on that forgery tools. Or I could I man the forgery tools. tools and he could help me. Um, because so I'm, the one who's, I'm the one who's proficient, deception. so I'll help I, this. I would like me, yeah. he, um, so Hector I'll... to make a deception test, and I would like Hespacho to make a forgery tools test. 22! Uh, yep. And forgery kit. Yeah. It's loading. Cool. Any day now. I clicked it. Uh, I, clicked I like it. how it's, it's, <laughs> it's still believable, but it's memey and it's that's so a forty-four. Inaccurate. So <laughs> it's like the empire might just believe so... it. <laughs> okay, love me. Oh, you know what? On for a side fun, note, I gotta roll it for you. Going to get the um... add add uh, three to this roll. Yeah, it's <laughs> the Emperor's like, hmm, this seems legit. <laughs> oh, fucking fantastic. <laughs> yeah, on a on a side note, his is yeah. also going to get that cat hide prepared in the fort so that only people in our group have any awareness of it. But he's going to get that prepared as another disguise along with the weasel. As yeah. often. <laughs> so you're having the enemy <laughs> land at the same place and you're ch t telling them that the enemy camp is located way off away from where it actually is. Yes. Okay. Because we, we are and they're looking up for Nicolas Cage, Bambi, and Churro. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing we're... that might catch you out is the six auxiliary cohort doesn't exist. Yeah, that's that's actually but, fair. That, but that's that was, fine. They they that don't know that. They have to look it up before they figure it out. I so, know that's kind of the intentional, but then it's yeah, because like, they they don't know that it, much information it, about what you're doing. It's inaccurate, but the yeah. devil is like in the details. They they will eventually figure it out, but it might be long enough that uh, it becomes a problem for them that it took that long to figure it out. 
Oh, fucking love it. <laughs> Strangely, a talking parrot. Alright. You managed to send misinformation to the Empire. <laughs> fucking love it. Eventually, fucking Bruno I'm shows up. I'm adding cat hide to this guy. Yep, that's, that is fine. Uh, Bruno eventually will show up and be like, that was a good job with the letter. Uh, see. Si. I really uh, appreciate the uh, extra detail of uh, Nicholas Kate the Exile and, uh, of course, uh, Sherlock. Yeah. Would you like to head to Pamplona now, or would you like to do that next week? Uh, do you guys want to keep playing, or what do you feel? Uh, that's 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 up to the group. I'm fine either way. I am. I am. I'll undecided. have to be heading out around five thirty. So, well, in a, about fifteen minutes, either way. Fair. Um, I'm cool with it at least, but we can wait until next week as well. Might be better to wait. But... Yeah. Just yeah. So we've got more time. Mm. Yep. Any final things you wish to do before we wrap up? As we um... are a week later. Cause trouble. Always cause trouble. <laughs> Fair. Don't do good, just cause trouble. Let me take Poro off the list as he's Never now not dead. Cause trouble. Do we reckon we we should just head off to besiege uh, Navarre? Or should we wait? What do we think, lads? Uh we we have to we have to make, make like you've got a town, man. You gotta deal with that. It's, Oh, yeah, no, I know you want thinking... to take over Navarre, but you have to deal with what you got. Uh, I'm thinking in terms of Zhao is going to handle the barracks, from what I've understood, and the troops. And currently yeah, that's the most pressing who's thing. Handling everything else. Zhao could just True. handle all that while you're away. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping, at least. Um, but do we feel confident that we should go ahead with it, or do we want to wait? Because I don't think we're going to have a lot less problems with the town moving forward. And this uh, has been Paco in the works. just going to kind of follow you around and make sure you don't get yourself killed. That's kind of his job. So whatever you do is what you're doing. Okay, I promise till town and we'll head out in a week. Time to send the troops. When we go to Pamplona, we're heading out for real. Mm-hmm. All right. As long as Zhao is aware that the fundraiser is for the barracks and he will make barracks. Yeah, I know. Zhao is way ahead of you on that. Good. Yeah. Zhao is very good at doing his job. Yeah, when, when he doesn't have somebody to be spiteful towards, he's a very competent and very nice. He wasn't boy, spiteful, he just wanted to get paid. <laughs> yeah, but, but like he had good reason to be spiteful. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Because Thagarak is the most spite worthy person out there. <laughs> yep. Okay. No, uh, Pamplona next next week, lads? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. I forgot to mention our sponsor, Kipling uh, Tequila and uh, Kiplingsburg Tequila and uh, <laughs> uh, Stratori uh, Gabagool. Feel the tropics. Wait, no. Yeah. Yes, feel the tropics. <laughs> oh god. Official sponsor of uh When you feel the need, get a ghoul indeed. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. So any final messages before we end it? Never trust the the Let's little dog with black paws. <laughs> Looking at you, Yomangunda. Oh god. Okay, maybe maybe that dog. Yep. All right then. Any final message to? Oh, he posted. Kek. There we go. Kek. Hello. Oh. Gabagool. Gabagool. Yeah. Eat your butt, Gabagool, kids. Gabagooey. Yep. It's good for you. <laughs> no, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad for you. In, in moderation, you know. <laughs>
It's very fat. Really. It's full of fat and salt. Because <laughs> it's mostly fat and salt. <laughs> Gabagool. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright, have when a good your night. Gabagool is Gabba good. <laughs> have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah. Bye.